大家好,我是英国杰克,这是我亲爱的妈妈。大家好,我是英国老妈。今天我们要听一听周深和郑永龙唱一场迪士尼的阿拉丁. So today, mom, we're going to be listening to Zhoushen and Zhengyonglong, who we listened to last song. <laughs> the classical performist, and they're going to be performing one of our, well, Britain's all time favourite Disney movies Aladdin. Aladdin. A whole new world. A whole new world. She's really exciting and very relevant at the moment because Disney is also about to bring out another one of its classics, Mulan which is obviously very focused on China, and we're excited to watch that. Yeah, yeah. But today, it's Zhou Shun and Zhang Yongrong, and they're singing A Brave New World. Oh, how lovely. Yeah, great choice. Also, a little surprise for the viewer, if they, if they can watch until the end, in celebration of the fact this is the fifth song they've reacted to that Zhou Shun sings in our language, English, we're going to have a little chat about which one was our favourite. Mm. So we'll be doing that at the end though. So normally mum, as you know, I would put a little bit of research in beforehand, but on this occasion I think we're both very familiar with Aladdin and Brave New World. <laughs> I think so, and the story of Aladdin, yes. Oh yes, I've got fond memories of watching, well, a range of Disney movies with you when you were young. Yeah. Particularly with Aladdin, I think we like the story. Who doesn't like the story? Magic carpets, flying, genies. Yeah, it was enjoyable watching. And it was a really big cultural film in, well, in the UK and I assume in other countries as well. Yeah, yeah. And I know it's popular in China as well, alongside all of the other Disney films. It's, it's probably a, a film and a set of films that the whole of the world shares and enjoys. And I think it's kind of funny that this song today is a whole new world and in it he sings I can show you the world Which is kind of interesting and relevant to me and you, right? Because I'm showing you a whole new world of culture and a whole new world of Asia and a whole new world of Joshan and Qing Shun Yoni, Chuang Zhou Ying, Zhe Rou Jie Wu All these sorts of new things You're not on a flying carpet though I couldn't arrange that unfortunately Oh, oh. okay The other thing that I wanted to mention to you which I think is really coincidental is when we first listened to Dalabangba that was the first time we'd listened to Joshan and I don't know if you remember but I said it very much um, reminds me of a singer that I'd listened to on YouTube a guy that was called Nick Patera he can go high and low now I'm in a whole new world who was able to sing both the male and female parts of A Brave New World. So actually, him and Joe Shun are quite different, but that was the first person that I thought, oh, he sounds a little similar to him. So it's funny that we're now listening to this song and reviewing this song. It's just a nice little connection there for, for any of you that watched our first Joe Shun video, which was Dalla Bamba. Yeah. 还有一件事情要告诉你们，今天英国特别热，所以我们都出了一点汗，是吧？ Yes, it is very hot today. So you'll have to apologise us for that. Whew. And stick with us if you see us sweating. <laughs> and finally, we met Zhang Yunlong when he performed with Ayunga and Zhou Shen when they sang Quantum of the Opera. So we already know about it. He studied at Beijing Musical Academy. He's a really great musical performance. He's friends with Zhou Shen, he's friends with Ayunga, um, and really excellent at musical theatre, has won lots of awards. So, so that's him, we already know him. But yeah, excited to hear them perform. Oh, and final, last thing I promise, I know I already said that once, but today's video is once again a fan cam. So the quality isn't it isn't excellent, but I still feel you get a very good feel 
uh, for the performance. So well done to that person that videoed this so that we can also appreciate it. But yeah, that's just a little explanation okay. for why the performance isn't perfect. There they are, Zhou Shun and Zhang Yongnong. first thoughts on that? Well, as you know, I'm a big fan of Joe Shun and it, obviously I know the song, I know the Aladdin song, I know the words, so mm. what else could it be but a big hit? It brings back fond memories of Disney, which <laughs> as I said earlier on, I think it's popular all across the globe, so we all share the kind of poignance of the stories mm -hmm. and the songs. We all know the words to them, don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was nice to see Joe Shun and the other guy Jung Yong Long. That's right. Um, singing a duet together. Um, we've seen them before, haven't we? Yeah, we sure we saw them singing Phantom of the Opera. Could That's you mean? Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, 
And I mentioned in that, they're close friends outside of, not just professionally, but personally. So I think that always adds a nice ambiance to a friendship and a yeah. performance when you when you know it's kind of, there's a level of genuineness there. Yeah, yeah. and their voices complement each other really well. A strong performance. Lovely, yeah. I will say, however, Joshan, I think, has the capacity to sing that song on his own. Because he is both capable of singing the male and the female parts yeah. within that tune. So I wonder if, is there a version out there where he sings it himself? I mean, So if they know one, they can give me, post a link to it in the comments. Yeah. Because yeah, surely there's a version of him singing that because he's definitely capable of doing the male and the female parts. And we saw another video with Joshun where there were two Joshuns. Yes. So there could maybe be two Joshuns singing the different parts Aladdin of Aladdin. Aladdin the princess. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mum. So now in celebration of the fact we've listened to five songs where Joshun has sung them in English, celebration of the language genius that he is <laughs> we're just gonna have a little chat about which one we thought was best mm. now they were all brilliant brilliant but it's always exciting to just have a little chat about which one we thought was our personal favorite so if I just remind you the names of those ones we had think of me oh it's lovely time to say goodbye it's making me well up it's so beautiful. Memory. Monsters. And Phantom of the Opera. <laughs> So, hard to pick one. So hard. So first option, think of me. Think of me from Phantom of the Opera. That was good. That was very good, wasn't it? I like that one. Again, showcased his operatic musical theatre ability. Yeah. Again, another one that showed his musical theatre ability. Time to say goodbye. Oh, that was so nice as well. And do remember that was not only in English, it was also in Italian. Oh yes. Yeah. Yeah. So that one was good. Yeah. More modern one, memory. Mm hmm Yes. Yes. Very, very good as well. Then we had a pop song by Katie Schuyler from the UK, Monsters. Monsters. That was yeah. good, wasn't it? Got the catchy hook. I see the monsters. Monster. Yeah. And then finally, the one that we did last week, another Phantom of the Opera, but this time the actual Phantom of the Opera okay. song. Oh. Yeah, famous tune. So of those five, we love all of them. Gosh. But let's both select a favourite. Shall I go first? You'll have to, because it's so hard. Often the fans say, well, Guanju, Niman, the Pindaja, Wayla, Nida, Lakma. So they follow us to hear your opinion, not mine, but I, I will still say mine, but I know you're waiting for my mum, so we'll do her last to build up the suspension, mm -hmm. not suspension, to build up the suspense. <laughs> suspense and tension. Suspense <laughs> and tension, <laughs> suspension. So I am going to go for <gasps> time to say goodbye. Oh. I thought that was a beautiful, beautiful performance. Okay. Now, normally I wouldn't choose his operatic style, he, but he is so capable and excellent at it. Mm. I just thought he nailed that one. It was one of the earlier ones we did as well, so fond memories. Mm. Now I think I can guess what yours would be, Mum. Um, maybe the viewers can guess as well if they've watched our videos for some time. Mm -hmm. But yes. I mean, it's in the title. I can remember the title I wrote. Uh, it's like, Yingo Lao Ma, Zui Xi Huan De, Zi Zui Xi Huan De. And then it said the name of the song. Um, so whether they remember that or not, but which one out of those five are you going to say is your favorite? Oh, well, Monsters, I really liked a lot. The tune's in my head now, so that was really good. Phantom of the Opera, obviously I know the tune for that, and I really like that. 
But if I was going to have to pick one out of those five, and it's hard, it would probably be Think of Me. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, that was our choices. You let us know what you think was the best out of those five. And yeah, was there anything else you wanted to say? No, just that I really enjoyed um, listening to Aladdin again. Yeah. Listening to Aladdin again was awesome, but what's one thing that you could do that would be even better than listening to Aladdin? Mm. Like and subscribe? Yeah, 如果你可以给我们点赞,关注我们的频道,好,我们给你谢谢. Anything else you wanted to add? No, I don't think so. 好嘞,一见三连,拜拜。